the women's lightweight coverage. Here's Angie Ashcraft from T-Town, they call it, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And again, like I said earlier about Lisa, she's right at the limit. Five foot, 114 pounds. That's where she needs to be. She's very complete. Not a whole lot of more mass. She doesn't necessarily need any more mass for this competition. It looks like she's got a pretty complete package. It looks like her strengths are also lying within her shoulders and delt. Angie was the lightweight winner at the 94 Junior USA's. We asked her how she feels coming into this pro qualifier. A little confidence. Um, you know more what to expect when you come to a national level show. That was my first national level show last year, and I felt very fortunate to win the lightweight class. Um, but I didn't know what to expect coming into the USA. It's a bigger show. It's a, the quality is a lot better here, and um, so. I just did the best that I could as far as getting myself ready and whatever happens when I got here, so be it. Great lines on Angie, Sean. Well, again, she looks like she's got a complete package. She wanted to make improvements, and you can see that she did if you saw last year's Junior USA's. Very complete, tight in the back, little Christmas tree going on. That shows a representation of a very low percentage of body fat. And like a lot of female bodybuilders, her husband got her started lifting weights. Yeah, and you're going to find a lot of the women giving a whole lot more credit to their husbands because the men introduced them to the sport, whereas men are so individualistic. They're caught up in their training and their dieting and credit their training partners. A lot of women stumble into bodybuilding because their husbands or boyfriends introduce them. Here's a